Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, it's a beautiful day here in West Tennessee. Most of the rest of the week it was rain. Hard rain. Torrential rain. Flooding. But we've had a couple of days now where it's been okay. Let's go for a little ride, guys. It's not going to be anything new and exciting. But, it's a ride, right? Well, I didn't sleep a whole lot last night. I woke up this morning about six, or just a little after. I only got about three hours sleep. I woke up, I had tears coming down my eyes. I either dreamt of, or I was subconsciously or whatever thinking of an old buddy of mine who passed away about three years ago, uh, Rick Rainey. <sighs> Look up with tears coming down my eyes and a heavy heart. I laid in bed for a couple minutes and just kept wiping my eyes. And finally got up went to the hall bathroom and well I just gazed out the window there and of course I'm looking out the window over a field it's got that morning fog dew on it and sun's not even up yet I don't know it just hit me I had a few tears roll down my eyes don't really don't really cry much these days over death Really, a lot of times I feel like they have it better off than we do. So, it was just uh, one of those moments where I, I really just woke up missing him. And, you know, we weren't super close as adults over the years. We, we you know, we would chat online on Facebook you know, periodically and stuff, and but you know, as adults, you know, once you get older and all that, you, you kind of go your separate ways, but we would at least communicate on Facebook, and, and I knew he was alive, and you take those moments for granted, and he had troubles far beyond what I ever knew. I know he, you know, he suffered from depression as well, and I didn't really know. Uh, I have that as well. So, he drank a lot, and he smoked, and none of that was him. 
that wasn't the Rick that I knew. You know, I know we all change, but life got the best of him. And anyway, morning kind of started out like that. Pulled in here at the roadside park on 79. It's called the roadside park for a reason, guys, because it's a park and it's on the roadside. There's the road. So, so let me touch on kind of what I said a minute ago. I don't know if you could hear me while I was riding the bike. So, anyway, a little, little bit after I woke up and kind of had that emotional start to my day sat at my desk and I eventually sent my my buddy's mama email and just letting her know I was thinking of him and thinking of her and all that and sweet family uh, she's alone now uh, her husband died several years back her sister just died and I didn't know about it uh, of course her son died a couple years ago and So she's all alone now. She's in her 70s and, uh, you know, life is, uh, life is a booger. So I, I've kind of had all that on my mind today, I guess, you know, in the back of my mind a little bit. and Not to make it a, a, a somber, sad, you know, ride, bike ride or anything or, or message today, but, you know. Uh, the old cliche, you, you know, tell people while they're alive uh, how much they mean to you and check on them and talk to them. If it's just a hi, how you doing, send them a text or just a quick call, an email, whatever. Just let people know you're thinking about them just a bit. You know, I wonder, and we all wonder whenever things like this happen, but I wonder... Could I have helped my friend over the years if I had really stayed in touch and tried and really got to know him and knew that he had problems and, and all that? Could I have helped him? I don't know. We always wonder these things. You know? My mom went downhill uh, 2003 when her mom died and she lost her job of 30 years. All within, I think, one month. Well, she went downhill instantly. We didn't take the time to go over there as much as we should have, all us kids and grandkids. And she ended up super depressed and health went downhill. Took her a few years, but it finally got her. She died at 72 years old in 2016, so... You know, life is full of regrets and it's full of wonders and wishes and all that. So, anyways, I never pull off in here. I think this is 
the first, maybe second time in four and a half years I've pulled in here. So I'm gonna get back on the road. I'm just, I'm just riding, just chilling. It's beautiful out. So let's make this ride a little bit happier and get going again. Well, this road is busy today. Uh, good grief. That's our main road that goes to and from the lake. It is busy. Just about time to turn around and head back towards town. I'm up here at Lakewood School, school that I drive for. Ah, beautiful day out, guys. Beautiful day. We deserve it after them many days of horrible rain we had. So temperatures feel good. Beautiful out. There's slight wind, slight breeze. You know. I think there's a couple messages that I have for today and one is make sure you tell the people that you think about and love uh, no matter if they're family friends or acquaintances or whatever make sure you tell them you know hi love you how you doing you know short short and sweet doesn't have to be crazy just make sure you let them know that you're thinking about them and uh, Another message is be kind, please rewind. No, wait, that ain't it. That ain't it. Look at that. The bike's got some miles on it, guys. Oh. I guess the other message is just uh, try to be nice, you know? Let's try to be a little nicer to one another out there. Our country, I'll just speak for our country. You know, we're we're going through some stuff right now. There's a lot of division. And it's political, religious, all the way to, you know, I don't want to say Black Lives Matter because that just singles out one group of people, but the fair treatment of others and decency just uh, people as a whole, you know. I mean, if you watch my videos, you know how I feel about racism and bigotry and all that. And you know, I'm open-minded. I guess I'm weird that way. And I feel like you have the right to be whatever you want to be, but you don't have the right to hurt or to kill or bully. You don't have the rights to destroy and riot and you know. And that kind of stuff. If we could all just get in our minds that we're free to be how we want to be. But also 
uh, we're not free to to do those things I think we'd be better off you know just stop with all the hurting and the violence and the <laughs> killing and, and that goes for everybody from the corrupt politicians and police and lawyers and judge you know judicial system and all these things that goes to everybody just straighten up and this video is not gonna matter my message don't really matter my life is but a blink of an eye as is everyone else's but anyway uh, I bored everybody long enough with my little discussions today and opening up and, and all that so I'm gonna get back on the road I don't normally stop but it's just such a chill day and feels good out and I'm just kind of chilling taking my ride one pedal at a time so uh, anyways guys let's get back on the road we'll get home figure something out for the rest of the day let's do that let's jump on this old trusty steed look at that it's a beaut Clark a real beaut all right, let's go for a ride. I believe everybody in the entire world right now is out doing their yard. Every road I've been on is busy. I used to ride these roads when I was a kid. You wouldn't see a car for 30 minutes. So I'm about four miles from home. If I go straight home. But I usually take a detour on this road and it gives me about another mile. So, you're beautiful, that's for sure. You never ever fade the highlight of my day it's coming down a hill on India Road right before I turned up into Anderson there's a snake going across the road probably about two and a half feet long something like that
Our world's beautiful if we take the time to stop and look. A nice sunburst through the trees always brightens my day. Don't care how many times I see it. All right, guys, I'm home. Had a beautiful ride today, some discussion. I even stopped up the road and uh, I seen uh, one of my old friend's moms out there checking the mail. And uh, haven't seen her in 20, 30 years, really talked to her or anything. So I turned around and I went and talked to her. Exact point that I was trying to make to you in my earlier discussion. Take the time. Take the time to say hi. Just takes a minute. All right. Whew. Well, I'm hungry. All I had today was some pancakes. Matter of fact, I made a video about it. You should check it out. Whew. And I gotta pee. Alright guys. Been a great ride. Hope you enjoyed the ride along. Uh, don't forget to check out all my other videos and stuff. I, I have a million videos for you to enjoy. If you can't find something on my channel, you might just go back to TV. Go and watch the Kardashians or something like that. Alright, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And have a beautiful day doing it. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!